support. Let people know what's going on here. We have a great match between Jute and Elevate mm -hmm. right now. Jute actually leads the series one to zero. Reflections, putting yep. you on the spot. Give me a prediction. Elevate, man. They got to take this. You know, Juke has the hype, but Elevate has the search game. You know, Miyagi went off during that optic match, going about 15 and 5. Fantastic stuff coming from him. I expect them to do the same here. Slasher on your screen. He's going to be rocking that Remington attach. You know what? Who struggled last time, though, during that optic match was Strife. I really want to see him pick up his game, but Slasher, he's going to be taking a very bold move. Actually, we could see it. No, they're going to be going B, and then we're going to see Slasher joined by uh, Tatcher where they're taking over mid. The thing I love about the way Elevate plays this map, and we saw it earlier on nice. Blitz, not S&D, so a different scenario, but Attach and Slasher love this map. They yeah. are so good on Octane. And we see Miyagi running around with the tracker site. They have to be a little bit quiet now because they are actually in front of us. But we see Miyagi going up top, looking around, throwing out the smoke, and it looks like Miyagi won't connect. Not yet, but Tatch laying down the trophy. Smoke is down. Gotta watch out for those thermal sites. However, he is gonna back off. And uh, predicting someone's gonna push him there. Now in a 2v3 situation. Miyagi and Attach now trying to work that 2 on 3. Miyagi is watching middle with that tracker site with the Remington attached. Uh, oh, that's not a player able to take him out. That is, uh, in fact, Embos. And get on board with Miyagi now as Miyagi, he uh, could spot a player here. Actually, Attach could possibly be spotted. We could see a rotation over for A. And I don't think he is prepared for this. Yeah, it looks like that is exactly what Hatch is doing. Why don't we switch over to him? See what he's doing. 2 and 0 with the bomb. Right now. Very, very quiet. You see him around. And it looks like he should be able to land. So, he got rotating back. Yep. Yeah, you see that now. And Hatch is going to get the bomb down. Oh, Miyagi's on a D. And he's going to go down. And Jukra now, they're going to have to go into action in a 1v2. They're going to waste a lot of time heading over there. Attach needs to be careful here. Probably going to have his teammate 3 PM in that situation, watching over that bomb site, looking straight ahead over at that broken wall. That's actually exactly where they're going to come from. Another one's going to come. He needs to get the kill. Oh, he's not going to be able to get it. Saints comes in with a huge clutch play. Going to go ahead and shoot some bullets in the body. There you go. Not gentleman like the hay. Gets the job done. They're pumped. Going to get the bomb defusal, and they're going to be up 1 0. This event, I have never seen Brian Saint come up more clutch. I mean, he is such yeah. a good player. And Brian Saint, one of those players that always just falls just out of top eight. Right. And Finally got his top eight that he has been looking for for so long. You hear him right he's, there. He's winning this. He he's says, pumped. this is my tournament. I'm winning this. You know. Saint is pumped. And honestly, when Saint is on fire, he's a hard player to stop. He yes. can play the objective role. And what I like to look at with him is he's a very explosive player. He makes a lot of big plays. I've seen it throughout the games that right. he has played. He's someone we're going to have to watch. But why don't we actually stay here with Space League? Yep. See what he's up to. He does have the bomb. And it looks like he's going to move over here. And they are going to commit toward this B-side. He has to be very careful as someone is watching that like a hawk. Looking at Spacely now, still with the tracker side out. Not able to spot anybody just yet. Does gate take some damage? He's going to go down. And that's four up still for Elevate. Spacely and Saint has been dropped, so it's going to be Embos and Sin. Embos with that sniper up top strip. Kind of overlook gas, not spotting anybody just yet. He's, he is pretty exposed, though. He needs to be careful. He can take out from that top on, uh, and as well as bottom gas. Sin is uh, still going to be at the top hotel bomb is down and there you go Embos is going to get down sin now in a 1v4 sin also has a sniper rifle out trying to spot out those top positions and there you go what a fantastic round from elevate they're looking to attach five and one i mean here's the thing is that juke is able to just kind of push that round to the side it is so early in this game everything can still change they're going to sit there not going to let their spirits get down and they're going to continue to play that great job right there by the elevate squad though putting the pressure on and look at attach Five and one. Yeah. Playing so well. We have to switch over to him to go into this. Well, let's get on bomb. He's currently got the bomb. Miyagi, though, the guy who went off during Optic is now zero and one. Slasher, also the duo of Miyagi going zero one. Quite surprising. Strife, who struggled. Attach, who also took two as well, are really, really thriving at this point in time. But like you said, Attach loves this map. And Attach with that bomb has a player to his left. A player straight in front of him. A player is going to be dropped. That's Miyagi as well as Embos. Miyagi just can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Yeah, I mean, like you said, Attach does excel on this map, whether he, he actually loves it or not, but he, he does well on it, yeah. so he has this map's number. But regardless, we see the fact that we do spot another member of Juke going down that's going to be Sin. Struggling just a little bit here at 0 and 3. Embo's down as well. It is a 2v2 situation. Strike and Slasher up against Saint and Space League. You see that the bomb is down. And Strike trying to make a move, but his teammate is going to pick that up. They are going to go for that B plant and look at this. They need Strife to come up huge right here. 3 and 1, so he's doing quite well. But he has to be careful because the guy coming from his left, so he's going to turn around into space. He's going to get the kill. He's going to bring down a space lead. Going to him now in a 1v2 situation. Bomb is down. He's got to get the kill. 
Tracker side out, able to get a nice kill there. It's bringing it down to a 1v1 now with Slasher going up against him. Slasher is going to be up top hotel. He's going to meet up with him relatively shortly. Needs to be careful here. Probably he's going to be sound ward at this point. Actually, I believe he's bottom level. So he's bottom level waiting yep. for the bomb defusal. And the, oh, Space is going to jump down possibly and possibly see him. Looking to his right, able to spot him in the corner. Who's going to win it? And there he goes, Spacely, with a nice clutch play just in the nick of time with only two seconds to spare. I mean, Spacely is such a good player. Known for that objective role, but also very good. And we look at him in the search and destroy, and Spacely right there, such an intelligent yes. play. Spacely taking his time, thinking about all the possible options. Doesn't spot him up top hotel. He knows that he has to be somewhere else. Thinks maybe he's over here. Takes his time, spots him, takes him out. Yeah. Easy kill. Great win right there. Yeah, great stuff coming right there from Space League. Beautiful clutch plays. They're going to be on the offensive side. Space League not slowing down. Four and two. And he's going to be the bomb carrier for his team. He's got that tracker side out. Saints. He's going to be looking over left side. He's going to be sniping it out. Nobody over there, though. Nobody's going to be home. Embos is going to be looking at those top positions. Nobody home there either. Actually, uh, Embos as well as Saint look in the same direction. Don't agree with that. But Miyagi is going to get down. Sin, middle, and looking to maybe... Ma oh, aggressive play. Going straight up middle. So the player on the plane able to take him out. And that was a nice kill, I believe, on a... Sin no, excuse me, on a slasher. So it's going to be down to a 4v2. Yeah, 4v2 in favor of the Juke Squad. Spacely does go down, though. That's the person you actually don't want to have go down if you are Juke. But we're going to have to see someone step it up right here. Sin did pick up a kill this round. So let's see what he's able to do. Notice that there's a guy in near him. Very interesting situation here. See what Sin's going to do. He might drop down right on top of him. Sin is playing very slow right now. And it looks like what they're trying to do is actually rotate over here. Yeah, look at that. Info is... Possibly going to be successful going through gas for that eight push. Nobody home though for elevate there. Be down to attach and stripe trying to go big. Attach and stripe the guys leading the team. Miyagi still struggling zero and three slasher, one and three. Bomb is going to be down. Let's get on board with another player here. Uh, Saints. He's going to be uh, uh, assisting Embos over there. But Sin is up at that top with the sub. Could be an interesting play here. However, the two people from elevate actually wants to cross right in front of him or right underneath him. Excuse me. Now he's going to go down. Now we're going to be on board with Sam. Spots a play. He's going to go down as well. Embos, last alive now. All of a sudden, 1v2, able to bring it down to a 1v1. Great kill. To and oh, with the clutch play. Embos. Oh, my gosh. What a fantastic play from Embos. Juke, if they weren't hyped before, they're extra hyped now. I mean, Embos is one of those players. He can go off at any time. Look at the replay. Wow. Picks up one. There's another. Phenomenal. That is just fantastic. You know, we've been talking Elevate. Fantastic team when it comes to search and destroy. Miyagi, I thought, was going to go off. However, he's doing so much. You know, at this time, this late in the tournament, you need to step up your game, Miyagi, if you want your team to move on. And I'm putting the pressure on him. Let's actually give him some stream love, see if that helps. He's currently 0 and 3, joined by Attach, going over for the B box. Yeah, we see Attach with the bomb. And once again, guys, do apologize. We have to do a little bit of whisper casting here just because of the fact that they are right in front of us. I mean, I can throw my pen and literally hit the back of the head. <laughs> That's so. what I did with Fatty earlier. <laughs> Not even a lie. Oh, not picking on people because of their weight? That's never nice for Oh, that's not what it was. Come <laughs> on, you know that. It's because he wasn't switching screens, but Saints last live in a 1v4 situation. Currently 3 and 3's got the sniper out. The top position slasher has been dropped. Trying to shoot inside that barrel. I think there's a player there. Actually, he's correct. Maybe this nade's going to get lucky and take him out. And it is going to... No, not actually. Oh, it did get a kill on Stripe. And the uh, Saints going off here. Only 25 seconds remaining. So, you know, assuming Elevate is going to uh, camp it out. And there you go. Going to go down. So, 3 2 is going to be your score. Saints, uh, or excuse me, Attach. Or Miyagi able to go big there. So, finally stepping it up. One and three. Yeah, you see Miyagi with the final kill cam. Like you said, giving him a little bit of stream time. Maybe been what he needed. But first kill. So, Miyagi finally on the board. So, I think the person we need to watch on this next side. It's actually going to be some dude. I want to go back on board with Spacely. Of course. I want to see what he's able to do here. And it looks like Spacely is going to be running over here. He does have the bomb. Like I said, very heavy oriented objective yeah. player. And it looks like they are once again committing to that B bomb site. But look, there are three members of Elevate all around there. Every three back down going to A. And I really like the setup yes. here from Juke up until that kill. Yeah, we're seeing those Spacely still hanging out in the back. Taking uh, some shots there. So they know they're going to be, of course. Sin does go down. Saint still sniping middle. This is a good position for him. He's actually got a lot of vantage points, a lot of choke points he can cover. Not, nobody home just yet, though. And so is Bomber Player able to get a nice kill on Miyagi. He is going to trade off kills, however, as he goes down. Now it's Spacely and Saints going against each other. Spacely with that bomb in the top hotel. Possibly looking to move. He's got to watch out. Does take some damage from that frag. 
That is going to pin up where he's at on the map. He's going to be pushed. He's one shot at this point. If he gets pushed, it's going to be a deadly situation. Now it's a 1v3. Yeah, we see it's basically just kind of sitting up top. And this is the player that you want in a 1v3, but unfortunately a little too much. They do tie it up there. Great job by Elevate. And when we start off this next side, I actually want to go on board with the man in this final okay. kill cam, Attach. He's playing very well for Elevate right now. Yeah. Eight and three with two plants, doing a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. the slang and the objective work. So why don't we start it off with him, see how he's able to do right off the spawn, and see where he's going to position himself, and see what opportunities open up for him because of that. Yeah, once again, going for B. You know, Elevate seems to have that two break for mid, two break for B. We're going to look now as the bomb still in his hands. Embos is going to be dropped from a pre-snipe right off the bat. So fantastic stuff coming from them. Yagi needs to go big, however, and step up his KD like I've been saying. And, uh, you know, he's just going to play around the hotel. Actually spots a player up top hotel. Trying to be sneaky, but it's going to be aborted there. Now it's going to be Saints and Sense going against the uh, three or four people, or excuse me, three people now for Elevate. And the bomb is going to be planted. And they're going to go on the attack. And uh, looking now, you know, we're seeing attach again on your screen. Bomb is down. To oh, climbs. That was a whiff there. Climbs over the railing. Yeah, I mean, great great positioning right here from the remaining members of the team. But we see right now it is a 1v1 situation. Brian Saint up against Spike. And this is going to be a good one. And it looks like one may have spotted the other. We see Saint trying to run away. And it looks like Strike knows exactly where he's at. And Saint going up top. And I really like that play right there. Able There's to try one. to throw it up, oh, use it, but right, right next to each other. Great play by Strife right there. Able to catch him. There's the kill. And 4-3 to three now in favor of Elevate. Yeah, for the first time, Elevate is going to take the lead in the search and destroy. Really stepping up their game overall and got to give it to Attach. We've been talking about him. He's 9-4. Mm -hmm. Now Strife as well. He's currently 8-4. and four. So fantastic work from them. Slasher 6-5 and five with that bomb plant. Now, how is the team of Juke going to react to this play as we go into free? mode once again so let's see what's going on let's go for an overhead and see this middle battle all right well i think what we're going to have to see from juke if they want to actually take this is first you notice the setup from elevate you see one member right there slasher and strike both of them are right same over there as well sin in the middle what you see is that juke simply needs to go they need to go for an early plant because earlier when they did that showed a lot of success right one's going to be on the flank actually there's about to be a middle battle let's go back over here as saint right there is going to spot two players to get a nice two-piece Going back over for that B-bomb, there's going to be a guy up top, and that's going to be Ambos shooting bullets at the top. Oh, shoot, top diner getting a nice kill there, and I believe it's down to, uh, only down to one player. So he's basically planting that bomb sin. He's on that head glitch. Got another player mid, Saint in the middle. Here's Miyagi trying to go big, but Saint's coming up to his right-hand side, and there he is. Saint's going to get a nice kill there, bringing a score 4-4. Not going down without a fight. Yeah, great job right there by Saint. Able to pick up the kill, and we see it once again on the final kill cam, shutting him down with my personal favorite assault rifle, mm, the SC-2010. Mm. And normally you don't see that used. Actually, the Remington is more popular, but you know, that gun, you know, I, I would feel has more uh, more or less uh, no kick to it, and it's, it's a fantastic gun, plus the range and damage drop off is fantastic. So, oh, we got Codcaster back, so we're gonna be on board with uh, Attach now. Once again, nine and five going over for B. We haven't seen anybody really try to switch up their rushes towards A, and it's, you know, if it's working for you, it's working for you. It's been pretty even, so no reason to fix what's not broken. Yeah, and we are staying on board with the Natch. You see him take a little bit of damage there. He's going to load up the frag, send it out, and hope for the best. Nothing there for him, though. And we look and see exactly the setup here. And there we have it. End of the round. <laughs> Great round right there. Juke actually goes up 5-4 to now. Yeah, Juke right now putting uh, uh, Elevate at risk of... Being down 2-0 in this series and possibly a risk of being eliminated from this tournament. Now both tournament lives on the line for both of these teams. So this could be the uh, final map for this search and destroy. However, Elevate, we've seen some clutch plays come from them. Miyagi stepping up currently 3-7 and seven on board with Saints now. Saint, excuse me, who is uh, going to be middle. And of course his uh, teammate. Let's get on board with the guy who's going to be on that plank. This is something that we have not seen. That is not space. No, nope. uh, could be no sin. Guy who always got a guy directly behind them. So now they have options. They can go for A. Sin can go on that flank, and I think Sin's going to be a big exciting factor for this round. I mean, I guess we're going to have to find out. It looks like he has a feeling that someone might be below. A creep around there. And very nice play here. Going down the stairs, choosing to go all the way down the stairs rather than just jump out. It looks like Sin's going to rotate back around right here. And his team is actually going to tr still try to set up over near that deep side. And Sin's going to try to come and help him by flanking around. 
could potentially have a big kill right here if he's able to take him out. And you see Sin moving around. He notices the guy up top, and this should be a big kill. Sin calling it out. There it is. He started yelling it, they just couldn't turn around quick enough. We see Ju take a quick 2-0 lead in the map count. Right wow. now, you gotta think that Elevate is in trouble. Elevate is in trouble. They're down to well. They have to be flawless from this point on. They went three straight rounds. Going into Blitz, they've lost that respawn game mode. Domination on Freight quite considerably, about 30 points. Juke is hype. Everything's looking against Elevate. However, Blitz, you know, is one of those game modes that, you know, maybe they can win. You know, they weren't able to be Optic in Blitz on Freight, but uh, I think it's probably going to be Blitz on maybe, maybe Warhawk. We haven't seen that in a while. Well, here's the thing. I was watching these guys earlier in Blitz, mm -hmm. these guys being juked. But what we saw actually watching them on Blitz is they have such an aggressive play style that helps them out. And going into Warhawk yep. Blitz, we are going to see a lot of aggression coming out of them. And the player that I want to keep a watch on is actually going to be Sin. Sin played so well against Justice, and they were able to really dominate the Blitz. I mean, with a minute and a half left, they had already made it mathematically impossible yep. for Justice to come and back. Actually, I heard them screaming that, of course. You know, they, mm -hmm. they love to scream that. And Sin, you know, is one of those players. Not only can he slay, he can be, you know, the objective role. And he's yeah. just one of those sneaky players that can get in and out to those portals quickly. And But Warhawk, you know, it's a bigger map, so you got to watch out. And it's, it's pretty hard to control because there's so many different vantage points. So you probably have one person staying on defense. However, you can't be too overly aggressive because if you are, then, you know, you are going to leave your portal up for capture but we're going to go on a quick commercial break when we come back with you guys we're going to be going into the third map potentially elevates final map don't go anywhere <laughs> 